by your Up Connect radio show. So you guys listening out there, you could not have listened to a better person than me. <laughs> so I have a whole program for you. So in the first part, I want to introduce myself. Uh, you've heard me many weeks already. We're in like in the fourth week that you uh, hear about Martha Razo. So today I finally want to talk about who I am in our first segment. Then I want to talk to small businesses, businesses who have started within the first five years of their business. And then I want to talk to those business owners who have been in business from five to 10 years. At the end, I want to bring all these ideas that I'm going to give to business owners, advice, so they can be in business for a long time and have a successful business. So and I'm going to bring it to industry. So are you ready? Listeners, are you ready? All righty. So who is Martha? So uh, right now, I will consider myself many things. But one of the most important things I want to make sure that people know about me is my passion for numbers. If you, can see, if you were able to see me, you would see that I have these long earrings that have the yeah, signs in math, like the plus sign, the minus sign, the division sign, the multiplication sign. So I'm a lover of numbers. Since I was young, um, I had a problem learning English. So uh, one of the things that I didn't compete with or that everyone struggled with was mathematics. So I struggled the same as everyone, but it seemed that my hard work ethic really came through and numbers was something that I understood and I was successful at it. So when I was in sixth grade, I said, I am going to get my PhD and I'm going and I'm going to teach math to others to make it easier for them. Well, that changed. Of course, that changed. Um, I am right now pursuing my PhD, but it's not in mathematics. It's actually in industrial engineering. What? Industrial engineering? But here's the key. My major is, uh, my focus is in process mining and data mining. So why, why did I end up doing this? So uh, going back when I was in college, I, my parents have a pallet company. So in their business, I, I, I started working like any other guy in there because if anyone knows the wood pallet industry is dominated by men, but I wanted to go in there and learn everything. So they had me sweeping the sawdust. Um, they had me working in the saw machine, cutting the wood. Yes, cutting the lumber. I also was uh, trimming the wood down from the big logs into small deck boards. But after doing that for like almost a year, I, I realized I cannot be doing this. Hey, I'm getting a master's degree in applied mathematics at a very good school, Illinois Institute of Technology. I have to do something else for my dad's company. So that's when I said, okay, dad, take me into your office, teach me the business, teach me what I can do. So I went into his office and I don't know if you know, maybe you're a victim of this, maybe you're one of them, that you have an old school method for keeping your books. You have them in boxes and then you throw them to the accountant at the end of the year. You never look at your numbers until the end of the year. You just give them to the accountant, receipts, invoices, everything. So that was my father back in 2014. And I, that was a challenge because I mean, the only thing I really know is how to do mathematics. I don't know accounting, I don't know business. But no, I took it as a challenge and I see this invoices and I learned. I started learning QuickBooks. I, left, I started learning bookkeeping. I started learning how to manage accounts, purchasing accounts, payable accounts, receivable. It became a whole adventure for me. So in the trajectory, I, was, I learned to actually use my skills in mathematics. And then that's what really brought us business. We were always stuck at five million in sales. I mean, this was from 2014 when I started helping out the way to 2020. We were always stuck on the same sales number. Um, our profit margins were so sad. <laughs> you were go out of business if they were like 5%. So yes, you're making 5 million, but your profit margins at 5%. I mean, just hear that. 5 million in sales and 5% margins. There's no reason to really work. I mean, yes, you're making good sales, but you're not taking a lot home. So that's when I realized like, hey, Martha, you have a math degree. How can you learn, take everything you learned in school and everything your dad taught you from business to actually 
improve the business. So I did. And this is what I'm going to talk to everyone about. In 2021, this was when the pandemic was going on. All businesses were going out of business. I mean, including pallet businesses, food restaurants. It was really sad. I mean, you heard it in the news. A lot did not survive this. They did not have the foundation to survive. But what I am going to talk to you on the next episode, I mean, in the next segment is what did we do to survive? We did not only survive, our sales finally went from 5 million to 10.1 million. Wow. It, could, it wasn't done in all those years. And finally it happened. And guess what? Our profit margins were no longer those depressing 5% they went all the way to 35%. That is about six times more. And it's because we were driving a business with data-driven decisions. Yes, that is a mouthful, but I'm gonna break it down to everyone. So here is why Martha started Solix Business Services. Because I saw the power in numbers in my family's business. I saw the power in my family's business and my goal now is to help other moms and pops businesses grow their business. I mean, we didn't do it because it was a miracle. No, because we made strategic decisions. Any decision we had to make from our pricing, from our inventory, from the conversations we had with customers was using the numbers to support those conversations, to support those purchasing to support that decision of selling when and where and why. So all of those we were using numbers. So now I want to bring that to mom and pops businesses. I have a talent. I don't know why I have it, but God gave it to me to be really thorough with numbers, understand big data and be very technical as well as a right hand and left hand. I mean, I, I'm a mathematician, guys, but you will never believe it because I'm so social. <laughs> you hear me talk and you're like, nah, she's not mathematics. But yes, guys, I have a mathematics degree and I'm close to finishing my PhD in industrial engineering. And I want to help small businesses and mid-side business owners to be huge. I mean, look at Netflix, look at Amazon. We can be that big, but we have to make strategic decisions using our numbers. So, hey, now we're going to go, let's go into commercial, but I want to talk to, I want to first focus on small businesses, because did you know, guys, this is, this is a real statistic from the Small Business Administration. At year five, businesses are at 48% of chance of going out of business. That means that you're less than half, you have less than 50% probability of going out of business. So you either are you do or you don't in five years. In 10 years, for, to be a 10-year-old company, you only have a 30% chance of getting there. So these are real numbers, and this is scary, but what is important is that you can make the decision of changing that future and changing those statistics. So please stay tuned because I want to talk to small businesses in mid-size with First, I'm going to talk to the small businesses of what you can start doing now to make sure that you make it past that five-year mark because they're saying that it's 48% chance that you're going to make it. So let's change those numbers and make sure your numbers are looking good so you are building the numbers and beating those numbers that they, their people are saying. Those statistics are statistics, but they are there for a reason. So let's change the story, guys. So once again, this is Marta Razo, your host with the Fire Up Connect radio show. Please stay tuned. We're going on a short commercial.